Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. My name is Sharnetta. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day or evening so far wherever you are. Today I'm bringing you another pick a card reading and today's topic is going to be what would a tarot reader tell your person about you? I've been wanting to do this reading for a while. I don't know why I've been like hesitating on it but I figured now is a better time than ever so why not? So um so yeah so what would a, re a tarot reader tell your person about you so we have three piles here to choose from we have the pile number one is the blue lace agate um pile number two is the amethyst um and then pile number three is has a little copper stone so yeah i love copper it's like my favorite stone or my favorite yeah my favorite metal my favorite crystal i don't know okay you know what i'm saying so yeah so we have three to choose from um feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so uh keep in mind this is a general reading so just take what resonates leave the rest don't make it fit if it doesn't fit uh i am doing personal readings right now so i'll leave that information down below if you feel guided to get a personal reading from me and then i just want to give a big thanks to all of you who have liked shared subscribed supported my channel in any way you felt guided to do so i truly appreciate it and i love reading all the comments i'm so grateful that you guys were so nice and kind and helpful to each other and just just really bringing in the positive energy we could all use more positive vibes in the world um so yeah so thank you so much and yeah so without further ado let's get on to your reading hello my first pile if you chose the blue lace agate this is your reading for what a tarot reader would tell your person so i'm gonna be speaking as if i'm the tarot reader obviously and um i'm gonna be speaking to you as if you were your person um speaking to you about you if that makes sense so just pretend you're your person and yeah you'll get the gist of it so first things first so i feel like your person is someone who is really missing you is someone that is crushed by the fact that this relationship might be over is crushed whatever they found out whatever truth was exposed wherever you told this person they're crushed by what you've told them but in that same like sentence i guess there's a feeling that this person can't stop thinking about you you have really crushed this person with something you've told them and even though they're crushed even though it caused separation even though it caused a lot of hurt between you both this person still can't stop thinking about you um your person doesn't know what to do there's there's a lot of nostalgic energy here there's a lot of missing you there's a lot of um there's a lot of scattered energy your person's very scattered right now your person is wanting to make new memories with you but they know they have to wait they know it's it's like they they know they would have to wait for that but they're also thinking like should i wait is this something i should wait for is this something that can ever happen especially with this believe in the impossible blue moon here so with despidence being here this is purple this is about the crown chakra i feel like your person needs to go within right now because again their energy is really scattered they need to find their balance this person is very unbalanced at this time um needs to find their like alignment right now needs to connect with spirit needs to go within as you could say this is um a lot of emotional triggers or a lot of emotional there's just a lot of emotion here with your person so I feel like your person could be hanging on to oppressive attachments to the past, sentimental attachments that they need to let go of that they know that no longer serves them. This person um, needs to learn how to relate to the issue in a different way. There's like some obstacles that this person needs to remove. And when they remove them, that is when your relationship will change for the better. So, um, and that is when your person will change the way they look at you because right now i feel like your person looks at you as someone that they can't stop thinking about but also really hurt them also really like they don't know if they should wait for you or be with you they don't know if you're the right person right now because of what you've told them so i feel like there's a need to kind of bring back your energy especially with this fragment card your energy this person's energy is really fragmented your person's energy is really fragmented at this time is really all over the place and they need to call back and get into their center again um your person 
feels a little bit immobilized by what you told them. Your person feels like they have to wait on you, wait for you in some way, wait for this miracle to show up and they're really having a hard time trusting themselves. They're really having a hard time trusting on what to do and what they need to do at this time. They're feeling a little bit helpless. They're um, they're feeling helpless, but they know change is on the horizon. They know that the more that they can accept their circumstances, the more they, they can accept the situation, the more that they will see movement in the situation, the more that they'll see a revelation in some way. They'll be able to take action. Right now, your person is not able to take action because of what you told them. Um, there's a lot of like stagnation here because your person's afraid of the consequences. Your person can sometimes have a tendency to um, self-sabotage or sabotage this connection by being maybe like really pushy or controlling, aggressive in some way, or just not being as kind and compassionate as they are, as, as who they really are, because I feel like your person is really someone who's really kind, really compassionate, really loving, really caring, can really like... Um, heal is like a healer in some way but they're not in their power right now and when they're not in their power with you you feel that you feel that type of hurt and I feel like there was maybe like a tit for tat here being like I hurt you or because I hurt you I'm gonna hurt you or because of this I'm gonna do that there's a lot of maybe like petty stuff that has gone on in the past in some way that caused this separation but um there's like a lot of like woulda, coulda, shoulda from your person. I feel like your person feels like this should have happened. We could have done this. If we done this, this would have changed. But I feel like honestly, there's nothing that could have changed this from happening because you both needed this time to kind of grow apart, to grow together, if that makes sense. When you told this person something, it really shattered their confidence. It really shattered their confidence of the future of this connection. Um... This person is having a hard time being um, optimistic or having like positive thoughts about this connection. Deep down they do, but I think their ego is really getting in the way. This person could be really prideful and really just not want to tell you how much you hurt them. I mean, we have finding out the truth crushed me. So, But I feel like this is something you didn't know. You maybe knew, but you didn't know to what extent that this crushed them. But your person can't stop thinking about you. But I feel like these thoughts are more like woulda, coulda, shoulda. This person's kind of going crazy right now. They really don't know what to do, what action to take. They're waiting for you to take action. They're waiting for you to explain yourself. They're waiting for, for some type of answer, some type of communication from you that they really need right now because they're really in this place of confusion they're really in this place of um fear of not being together with you fear of not coming together they want to make new memories with you this person keeps kind of maybe stalking your social media a little bit or looking at old photos of the two of you or looking at your photos this person's really missing you and they just want to know the truth they want to know the whole truth even though you told them the truth and it crushed them in some way it just kind of shattered their confidence they want to they it's like this person wanted to, glad that they know but it's like they need more explanation of what happened or whatever you told them in some way um with this believe in the impossible blue moon this is like a miracle this is also a positive sign so your person really you know feels like they missed the boat with you feels like they missed a chance with you feels like you won't come back around to them but it's like they're looking for this lucky break this miracle this person needs to again align with themselves and believe in this dream that this could happen between you both because this person still wants you this person still wants a future with you this person um still wants this is like a very positive sign so i feel like your person doesn't want to ask for too much doesn't want to hope for too much but still wants to come together if that makes sense they're looking for this rare opportunity for you this kind of out of the blue rare opportunity to for you to come contact them and explain whatever you didn't explain there was like something left unsaid that you told this person in some way and this person has convinced themselves that maybe nothing can go in their favor when it comes to the situation but i do feel like 
if you would just communicate with them and just tell them the truth because they're looking for the truth from you you can switch the situation around to your favor whatever however you want to play that out because your person really does care about you your person does really want to talk to you and hear you out they want to understand um they just want the truth they just want some type of sign some type of clear clear message clarity for them to move forward and i feel like right now they're just being asked to kind of center back step back and kind of look at things from a different perspective especially with this fragment card number 15 i feel like your person is still it's still just kind of scattered they just don't know what to think they need some answers they need you to communicate they need you to to, to kind of help them or guide them to move them forward they're looking for this guidance from you um they sense a they sense some difficulty in coming together and they just need to know are they crazy or is this something that is really happening like there are like this won't happen like is this something that can happen or is this something that can never happen and they're just kind of daydreaming and fantasizing about stuff that can never happen so your person's having a hard time being here in the present because they're thinking about the past a lot um this person is trying to put things together in their life that are important they're trying to move forward they're trying to plan ahead but you're like the missing piece of the puzzle and they can't move ahead until they get some type of clear message answer from you they're really looking for that so um you're like the missing piece of this person's giant puzzle of um fragmented truth i guess to say the least or something like that so i feel like I feel like your person, you know, they're in this right now, so it's going to be up to you if you decide to speak to them, but they will be okay no matter what. I'm hearing all as well. So if you care about this person, I would talk to them and just try to like make amends or clear up your name, clear up some misunderstandings that have ha that have happened between you both um, because there's like a disconnect here. Um, I feel like your person just may need to take a step back and try to understand something but there also is a strong message here for you to kind of fill that gap fill that understanding fill that type that puzzle piece that's missing um your person's really needing from you at this time so your person really does care about you and they really do want to see this connection forward but they are just feeling a little bit unsettled with everything because there's a lot of things, like I said, left unsaid and there's a lot of things missing in, in terms of their relationship with you. And this person is trying to get their life together and try to get ahead and trying to balance themselves because right now this person is very much out of balance and they're trying to think positive. You know, I feel like this person can think positive until it comes to you. Then they start thinking about like, past stuff they start thinking about the disappointment they start thinking about the separation how to bring it together they, they start thinking about how they sabotaged how you sabotaged how if we have done things different we would be in a different situation so i just think there needs to be some clarity when it comes to the situation there needs to be some type of understanding about um about this relationship where it's going where it's heading and what it is and what it isn't basically so so yeah that is what i see for you guys so that is what a tarot reader would tell your person um again this was me talking to you as if you were your person uh, talking to you about you basically um so i hope that made sense and that okay yeah so in that yeah <laughs> so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation um if it did not resonate um feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello my second pile and welcome to your reading if you chose the amethyst crystal this is your reading for what a tarot reader would tell your person about you so i am going to speak from the perspective of the tarot reader and i'm going to speak to you as if you were your person um about you so i hope that makes sense so um let's get started here so first things first your person is very much in love with you your person is hoping and wishing to hear from you for you to reach out to them 
your person stays awake thinking about you, your person, not all the time, but your person thinks about having this brand new future with you, thinks of the possibilities of this connection. Um, I say sometimes because this person thinks about that and then sometimes they think about letting each other go, kind of going your separate ways because this relationship has been very stagnant. It's been very, um, not what your person had in mind for a connection, if that makes sense. They feel a very spiritual tie with you, a very strong spiritual tie, a very like soul family, soulmate type of vibe with you, but they are bored with the dynamics of this relationship. They're bored with how things have been and how things are going. They feel like you're the only person that can understand them. They feel like you, um, like you've just changed their life forever, that they'll never find someone like you, but also they don't want to stay in that energy because it hasn't been going that well you know there has been a lot of like miscommunication there hasn't there's been a lack of communication there's been a lot of misunderstandings there's been a lot of like just a, a, this connection has been very spiritual this connection is very spiritual and your person has really tried to connect to you on the spiritual realms in the 5d and i feel like you both connect really well up there but you both have a hard time manifesting it in the 3d i feel so your person really wonders is this something that will ever happen basically is this something that will ever come into union with each other your person sometimes thinks about marrying you having a wedding having a union with you having this like eternal promise that you both will be together for many many lifetimes and at the same time your person wants to kind of let this go and move on and find that with someone else because it, they haven't seen it in the physical they feel it in their heart they feel it in their soul and their spirit but it hasn't been showing up in the physical with you and they're really wondering will it ever is this something that will ever happen there's a strong um, message here about communication with the vanity card and the new moon and Gemini. Communication is key and they're waiting for an answer from you. They're waiting to for you to tell them how you feel. They're waiting for them to tell they're waiting for you to tell them that you feel the same way that when you met them your life changed that it was love at first sight that you know you want this to work because they don't want to let this go but if they need to they will let it go and they're on the precipice or on the brink of trying to kind of make that decision but you still pull on their heart straight heart strings you still tug on that they still feel this connection with you so they're just in this place where they really don't know what to do they don't know how to how to really feel um they feel so strongly towards you in a spiritual thing but it's like and they feel this everlasting eternal love and this strong soul connection with you but it is really kind of making them i don't want to say depressed but making them a little bit sad making them they just want to see it in the physical you know and they're not seeing it so they're kind of just wondering is this something like i was saying is this something that they should be continuing to go after we have the high priestess of spirit here so i feel like your person is trying to find the right answers trying to find the right thing to do is trying to choose the right path for themselves is trying to consider all options trying to consider the spiritual and the practicality of this relationship there has been a lot of events in your relationship and a lot of experiences that you both have shared together in this life and past lives, you both share a lot of past life um, energy, a lot of past life uh, experiences with each other in this life. I feel like you both are magically webbed together in some type of way. Like um, when you both are like at your darkest times or feeling really down or feeling really like just like you want to give up there's something that sparks this hope within them like there's this spark that you spark in this person and vice versa this person sparks that in you as well like i feel like your person or you could be going through like a dark night of the soul type stuff um like you're ascending to a higher level within yourself and you're trying to have the spiritual maturity in order to handle this connection but again there's like not a lot of physical like communication and there's not a lot of physical manifestation of this relationship and that's what's driving your person like nuts basically um there is a divine plan to this there is everything is happening for a reason and i think in the future there will be a lot of meaningful synchronicities happening i feel like you both have or had a blessed friendship you both are lovers to each other you both share a significant relationship this relationship is really significant and there's a certain experience 
that a certain significant experience that you both share that your person still thinks about and this is what's keeping them stuck to you not stuck but keeping them hopeful that someday you will come together someday you will be in union someday you will get married or have make this everlasting promise to be together in this life in many lifetimes there's some type of memory or like i said experience that this person that your person keeps thinking about um I feel like you both are very powerful in your own way. You help each other become powerful. You help each other um, ignite that power within yourselves. You both are like star seeds or just from another galaxy or something. And I do feel like I have, well, do I want to say it? I just keep hearing like meant to be. So your person just believes so strongly that you both are meant to be together, that you are meant to come together. You're meant to see each other. You're meant to come together in this lifetime for a purpose. And they are really hoping that purpose is to be together and never be apart again, basically. But um, something important is happening within your person. Something important is happening in this connection. Um, you won't know right away, but I feel like your person may communicate this to you. Or you may feel the need to communicate this, communicate something important to your person. There's some type of secret that needs to be exposed here. Whether it's you communicating that to your person or your person communicating that to you, there's a need to step forward. There's a need to have the courage to step forward, knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery and some things are meant to be exposed or realized or talked about. So there's a need to be discerning about what you share with your person and what you keep to yourself especially if you love this person especially if you also feel the same way as this person does there's a need to kind of share a lot more there's a need for like stronger and more intimate conversations to be had with each other because this person really cares about you and really loves you and i feel like you really love and care about this person as well this is definitely like mutual energy where you both feel like sometimes giving up because it's too hard to manage or it's not coming together fast enough or it's not coming together the way you want there's a need to be more in the present and to because with this four of cups there's something being given but this person's too focused on the past or focused on other things too like self-absorbed in their own issues or own you know um like just past stuff like past oppressive just stuff that they shouldn't be thinking about they they need to be more in the present so i feel like maybe you've tried to reach out to this person and this person has just it's not good enough for them or they're not seeing it for what it really is or something like that but there's a need for you to communicate a little bit more clearer there's a need for you to communicate more authentically there's a need for you to communicate like more blunt like straightforward like very like straight to the point type of stuff because i feel like there's some misunderstandings here about what you're offering why you're offering it and your person is getting bored with that in some way shape or form um your person can't get over you but i do feel like like i said they can't get over you but if they need to they will they don't want to and they'll always feel the strong tie with you no matter what happens no matter what they decide they'll always feel this strong connection with you but they rather be with you than not be with you let's just say that so with this vanity card here this is about balance this is about being true to your heart and communicating what's reflected in your heart like i was saying so your person wants to communicate something to you i feel like they're more so waiting for you to communicate with them but they also have something to tell you that they love you that they want to be with you that they see you as the person they want to marry or just be with for this lifetime forever they don't want to date or see anybody else and if this is something you feel as well there needs to be communication about that there needs to be someone here that needs to step forward and say that because your person's this close to like letting this go i feel like they're in this really kind of lethargic type of energy where they're just not interested but a lot of this is because this person keeps thinking about the past and keeps thinking about that one significant moment and keeps thinking about um moments where you didn't communicate moments where you let this person down moments where you weren't really open to maybe a union or commitment i'm hearing for some that's not gonna resonate with all but i feel like um yeah there needs to be a type of living your truth communicating your truth and some type of awakening is happening a new way of being being aware of 
not being so distracted is that what i'm feeling with this four of cups i feel like your person is very distracted by something something in the past something that's pulling them away from being true to themselves in the present being true to how they're feeling in the present moment this is why i'm getting like your person sometimes thinks about marriage and then sometimes thinks about letting you go and i feel like this is something you both share because you both have this like string of fate connected to each other and connected to spirit so you both could be bouncing off each other's energies to be honest but there needs to be kind of like a give here like some like a truce i guess you could say because it's like really making your person feel down and it's not really helpful to the situation since i'm seeing here you both feel the same way and you both want to be together so the vanity card also talks about faith it talks about awareness um it also talks about transformation like i was saying but there's a need to kind of no longer look outside of yourself for validation. So I feel like your person needs a lot of validation from you. Your person needs you to communicate how you feel because if it's like that's their love language. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like it may not be your love language um, for some of you. For others of you, I think you all, you both share the same love language, but you're not practicing that love language, if that makes sense. It's, yeah, there's like, there's a, such a lack of communication. I feel like you both are communicative, but maybe you communicate in your own way maybe you communicate through gifts i feel like this person needs to hear the words um you may communicate through action through affection through like spending time or something there's just a difference there's like a difficulty in communication in terms of love um i feel like your person is just feeling kind of disconnected from everything else going on so your person really needs to pull back in their energy and really focus on on the present moment and 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 really like um grow away from any limiting relationships because with this vanity card your person could be around people who no longer serve them who don't get them who they feel disconnected from and i feel like this disconnect from your friends sir or your friends from your person's friends is causing this disconnect with you so now they're like questioning everything they're questioning well if i feel a disconnect with these people you know maybe this is not my person so that could be where this person is going back and forth and like letting you go i feel like they definitely need to let or want to let their friends go need to let their friends go but that carries over to you for some reason so i don't know if you guys met with the same friend group or you guys met as friends having the same friend group but there's 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 an outgrowing here your person has outgrown some type of friendship circle some dynamic with you and they're just they're holding on to it by like with a thread honestly and this thread is like that moment that they keep thinking of of like when you first kissed them or when you told them you love them for the first time there's something that's holding this person on but i it's getting it's getting tough for this person to continue to hold on honestly is what i'm getting here this person is is can sometimes be in this place of self-doubt your person honestly like has maybe some confidence issues or like low self-esteem especially with this vanity card i feel like your person was around people who also who are very vain just very superficial just very kind of living in illusion like very um empty conversations just a lot of tension with these people just feeling disconnect just a, a disconnect it wasn't always like this but right now i feel like your person feels this way and Again, they're carrying it over to this relationship with you, but I do feel like your person is gaining the power to change. Not right now, but they will gain the power to change this dynamic. I do feel like you'll hear from your person, honestly. Your person may communicate that, hey, like, I'm no longer hanging out with this person or this person, or hey, you know, I'm not sure if we should hang out anymore. I'm not sure if we should see each other anymore for this reason, this reason. This, this, there will be like a clear conversation, whether it comes from you, whether you initiate that or you, your person initiates that. And that's when you can open up the floodgates to really talk about how you both are feeling, talk about how you both really care about each other and really want this to work. Because for some reason, I feel like your person feels like you don't really care, want this to work um or you feel like your person doesn't care want this to work so there needs to be a conversation about this and that's like basically the main thing here and it's going to transform your relationship it's going to give your person a new boost i do feel like your person needs to kind of find this courage find this confidence within themselves to meet their own needs to hear and see themselves to consider themselves first before you can do that with them and um vice versa 
because this person, like I said, has maybe had a tendency to look outside themselves for validation or they just felt like they were never enough or whatever the case may be. So your person has low confidence, I feel, um, which I think you might be aware of. And this might be something that you share with them. I don't think you're aware that this person is low confidence. I think they hide it well or has a lack of confidence or just maybe low self-esteem. But I think this is something that needs to be discussed that's not being discussed because you feel the same way. I feel like whatever this person feels or has going on, you have felt or had this going on or still are having these feelings and having this going on within yourself. Um, but there's a very tight, strong spiritual bond here and you both have a really strong connection to spirit. So I would rely on spirit a lot because I feel like spirit is really has their hands in this connection is really kind of overlooking it and overseeing it and really trying to bring you both together to be honest um bring you both together first and foremost to have a conversation about what your needs are what you want out of this how you feel about certain stuff i really do feel like for some of you this could be about a friendship circle or your environment your roommates your family something like that where it's just causing a lot of tension difficulties like there's some emptiness here with your person your person feels empty without you um your person feels like you're the only person that you understands them and they feel like they don't have you right now so they're just like what's the point you know what i mean let me go move somewhere else or do something else or you know what i mean like your person's just really feeling a little alone a little lost they're still connecting to spirit they're praying a lot they're meditating for you both to come together to talk to you because your person really really does miss you i feel like your person just felt and feels less alone when they're with you like especially since you both share the spiritual bond your person is really attached to that like really tries to connect to that all the time because your person doesn't like who, who they're around like their environment right now they just feel really alone and like maybe like a black sheep or like just they feel like an outsider in some way in their environment or something which is fair because I feel like whoever they're around they're not meant to be around like that anymore maybe at one point like I said but there needs to be communication here I feel like there will be communication I feel like you will hear from your person if not anytime soon I feel like definitely there's a lot of telepathic communication so you can hear your person you can feel your person tell you these things and you can communicate back to them and try to reassure them in some way I feel like this may be something that's already going on like you may for a lot of you I feel like you already know what's going on with your person if this resonates you already know that your person is in this energy or in this mode um but they're really waiting and wanting to hear from you they're really wanting a sign from spirit from God from you as to know whether they should continue moving forward in this relationship, continue hoping for it, or let it go and kind of just start over, start their whole life over and just kind of um, call it a done deal. Like, just call it quits, I guess. So that is what I see for you guys. So that was what a tarot reader would tell your person about you so i hope that this resonated if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so um i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching and i will talk to you all later take care hello my third pile and welcome to your reading if you chose the copper crystal um metal stone i don't know why i don't know what to call it but anyways you get to just if you chose that this is your reading for what a tarot reader would tell your person about you so i'm going to speak as if i am obviously the tarot reader speaking to you as if you were your person um speaking to you about you basically so i hope that makes sense so let's get started here so um your person is going through some type of spiritual transformation right now your person is going through and doing a lot of shadow work trying to heal i feel like there has been a lot that has gone on between you both i feel like you both have tried and tried and tried to come together but it's just not working and your person is starting to see this as a sign as a message from the universe saying okay even though we're not together even though we having a hard time coming together maybe we're not meant to be together right now they're still kind of um taking the lessons of what they learned i feel like you both have shared a lot of lessons with each other a lot of tough lessons a lot of shadow lessons in terms of like you both really trigger each other's um wounds for them to be brought up and healed and let go of so you both can come together and it, you 
I feel like honestly spirit saying you both can't come together until those wounds are cleared and those are like very deep wounds um they're the wounds of like self-esteem self-confidence really accepting yourself all of yourself really understanding and unlearning certain thought patterns certain behavior patterns certain dynamics um that were taught to you that were um that you were conditioned by unlearning all of that and learning new ways to be together be with yourself learning how to love yourself because i feel like both of you weren't really taught how to do so so your person's really on this spiritual path i'm seeing your person is really trying to fulfill their own needs and desires to be happy. They're trying to understand what they need and what they want to be happy. Instead of placing a lot of their need, it's, instead of placing a lot of their happiness and a lot of their needs on you and needing you to validate their happiness, they're validating their own happiness. They're trying to understand what they want to be happy. This person is in this place of you know while going through this a lot of shadow healing and shadow work, they're still trying to manifest their desires basically they're still trying to understand what they desire and why they desire it is it because it's coming from their soul is it authentic to who they are and what they want for their life and in their future or is it because their mom told them that that's what they had to do or their dad or whoever the society media whatever the case may be like this person is learning to be more authentic to their truth and kind of really just go down a path that makes them happy no matter what it looks like because this queen of wands in reverse when the queen of wands is upright she is very authentic whether your person is female or male doesn't matter it's just the energy but this person when the queen of wands is upright she is really authentic she is not scared to speak her truth she understands that she's not perfect she has flaws she's that she has a shadow side just like everyone else does and that doesn't make her any less lovable that doesn't make her any less you know worthy of love of affection of success of abundance so your person is really in this place learning about themselves and unlearning a lot of what they have been taught about themselves so you should be really really proud of your person and i feel like this is something that you're also doing or, or attempting to do because you feel your person kind of going within kind of retreating from you or kind of just not available to you as much as you would as much as this person was in the past or something like that so your person i feel like you feel like your person is moving on from you but i don't think that's the case i think they're just going down right now their own spiritual journey because your person has just really gone through it right now their confidence is very low they're not really feeling confidence they're trying to embody this warrior spirit card here this warrior within them to kind of look at the bigger picture of things look at it look at this relationship from a broader perspective of everything happening because it was meant to happen like if they didn't go through this with you they would never be on this spiritual path they would never be on this um path to find themselves to to be to be really genuinely happy and fulfilled emotionally without the need for anything external to them to fulfill them this person is really going within right now is really in this hermit mode is really exploring different ideas and different feelings and different desires that they forgot about that has been really suppressed within them so i feel like you're you may feel like your person's moving on but i feel like they're arriving to you they're arriving to you in this way that is more um authentic that is more truthful where they know who they are and they're not needing you to validate who they are they know who they are and they're not needing you to kind of um tell them who they are like they're tired of that i feel like this person went through or goes through a lot or just had a lot of family members and friends kind of tell them what they should think who they are and how they should be and they're over that because it's not making them happy it's making them really maybe manipulative or just really unfulfilled emotionally um yeah so your person is um just going off to receive what they need they're meeting their own needs first and foremost your person is progressing into a higher and better version of themselves um i feel like it's not over there's something about unfinished business here so you may think it's over maybe you haven't heard from your person in a long time or you just feel so distant from your person it's not over there's just a need to kind of let your person explore and be free i'm getting and really kind of step into their power and spirit saying you should be doing the same thing and i feel like for most of you you are doing the same thing but for others of you this is spirit's message telling you to do the same thing and let your person go right now um go explore different options go explore what makes them happy what makes them feel good so your person has felt that your connection was very distracting to maybe their happiness and this doesn't make it true it's just 
your person's perspective um they feel like you never really matched up well or never really fit or never really understood each other like it was like oil and water i'm feeling i'm hearing um which is weird because we have fire queen of wands sagittarius and then we have water here so you one of you could be a fire fire sign one of you could be a water sign that would explain why they feel like it's just there's a there was a lack of balance in this connection and um they're starting to understand that maybe it wasn't a lack of balance in this connection it was just a lack of balance within themselves this person is really starting to see from a higher purpose a more like sage like wisdom of like the spiritual lessons of this connection the spiritual lessons that you have taught them this person wants you to open up to them um i'm hearing like sometime in the future not now but your person will want you to talk to them will want you to kind of they want to hear you out they want you to tell them what you want and need so that they can tell you when they're ready what they want and need um they don't want to be dependent like maybe there was a codependent dynamic that you both shared but they they're they're wanting to heal that they're wanting to get away from that because i feel like this person used to really want and need a lot of validation a lot of attention a lot of like like praise or something like that and your person has realized that that has sabotaged them that has made them feel like they're suffering that has made them miserable and unhappy and so they're looking to find balance within so they can have balance without they're realizing that unless they have it within it's not going to show up in the external for them it's just not so they want to talk to you in the future they want to talk about what transpired in the past they want to forgive you i'm hearing a lot of forgiveness a lot of resentments this person held, held on to a lot of maybe what this person did this person resents it and they want forgiveness i feel like you also do as well i feel like this person just wants to have a talk about needs and desires needs and wants and in the future i feel like maybe in the near future i'm getting like three months um three yeah three months for some of you might be sooner like three weeks but at the latest i feel like this is like a three month thing that your person needs to just kind of discover rediscover who they are and then with the balance card here this is the crown chakra so i feel like your person is um may have been a little bit reluctant to change in the past i feel like this person because of what the past has done to them so i feel like this person has had a rough experience in the past with you or just in general in their childhood with other relationships um just with other people i feel like this person isn't going to be hasty this person is trying to weigh up all sides of the situation before moving forward with you so that's why i feel like it's going to take a little bit of time but this person wants to start a wants to start a relationship with you in the future and they want it to be balanced but they want to go slowly they don't want to rush into this maybe this was something that was rushed in the past and so they're realizing that they don't want to repeat the same mistakes so they want to do something differently um I feel like your person's afraid of like I'm getting like runner chaser dynamics so that could be something that you both have experienced in your relationship wanting you being the runner wanting you being the chaser whatever the case may be and they want all of that to end again that stems from like codependency and having a fear of intimacy and a fear of abandonment a fear of rejection I feel like this is something your person has experienced all these fears and they're just tired of it because it's keeping them from being truly emotionally fulfilled and happy it's keeping them away from their desires your person has been doesn't want to be deceived by their own desires as well so that's why i'm saying this person's really trying to figure out what they desire is it authentic is it true to them or is it they desire something because you know social media says they should desire it or their parents or their sibling or their friends like this person really wants to get to the root of who they are and be in alignment with their true authentic self because they have realized that they take them with them wherever they go so um they're no longer interested in chasing illusions or um they want something real something long lasting something stable something solid i feel like this person is traveling maybe traveling abroad or traveling somewhere traveling to a new city um whether this is physical travel or like emotional spiritual travel for some it's mostly spiritual travel um that this person's doing a lot of like traveling within going within you know supporting themselves no longer like giving into compulsive behaviors really focusing on their health honoring their values no longer neglecting themselves being very result oriented for some of you this person has changed their diet is trying to live a healthy diet a balanced diet i guess you should say is 
really just into like health mind body and spirit and is taking responsibility for their mind body and spirit for their own health their own happiness their own desires which is really applause um something that it's 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 good it's a this is a good thing like it may feel like this person's moving away but they're not they're just doing their own thing trying to be the healthiest best version of themselves so that when they do come back around to you and i feel like they will um it will be more authentic and it will probably be more than likely be the right time for you to come together it just wasn't the right time for you both to come together because you both weren't aligned with your truth basically that's the the gist of it i guess you could say um i feel like this is something you know though so i feel like this is something that you may be haggling with yourself you may be hesitating to start the spiritual journey yourself but you may be feeling called to or pulled to because your person is on this spiritual journey because your person is really kind of boosting up their confidence and trying to be more confident in themselves trying to be this warrior trying to find the balance between between their feminine energy and their masculine energy whether this person is male or female um so i feel like you could be the one that's hesitant in you know seeing this as a spiritual lesson seeing having a sense of gratitude for this person you know accepting that the timing isn't right for the both of you to come together or something like that really just accepting forgiving and just kind of again being your own person aligning to your truth kind of progressing forward in your spiritual evolution and, and ascending and awakening to who you really are so yeah so it may feel like your person's moving on but they're really not they're really just kind of focusing on themselves not trying to distract themselves and right now they see you as a distraction i hate to say that but it's just because this person is still kind of purging and healing and going through a lot more shadow work so they'll come out of that not saying that you are a distraction but that's just how this person is kind of seeing you at this moment and they just they don't want that to happen and i feel like they don't want to see you that way which is why they're doing this work because they know that you are special um that they have feelings for you that they care about you that at that you can make them happy but they need to figure out what happiness is you know before they put that on you before you can give them that happiness and vice versa i feel like this is something that you may have to figure out for yourself as well here so that is what I see for you. So I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. That is what a tarot reader would tell your person about you. Um, if this did not resonate, feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you all later. Take care.